when eating too much protein, what when becomes too much? All that eating protein is, has been demonstrated that it's not necessarily deleterious for your health, but when it could become a problem when we do eat way too much protein. Well, I think a, a, a beginning of a good answer is when you're eating more protein than is beneficial and also that it impinges on how much carbohydrate and fat you can have and thus maybe doesn't cause the best adaptation. So for example, contest bodybuilders sometimes like to eat two grams of protein per pound of body weight per day or something like roughly like, um, you know, four per kilo per day. And you know, that's fine by itself, but the question is how much carbohydrate do you have to cut out in order to do that? Let's assume that they're keeping enough fats in to meet all their hormonal requirements and things like that. What ends up happening is like, you're getting lots of protein, that's cool, but after a certain point, probably about a gram per pound per day, you're not really having any benefit, and then you're maybe eating half of the carbohydrates you could, and especially on a diet that's designed to promote fat loss and muscle retention, carbohydrates are very, very retentive of muscle, and as a matter of fact, probably more retentive of muscle after you've already had all of your protein that you can use. So that's a problem. Another one is that carbohydrates potentiate um, performance in training and recovery from training in a huge way. They also promote good sleep. If you had enough carbs through the day, you can sleep better than if you're on a very low carb diet. So uh, what ends up happening is like, because of all these advantages of carbs and you're eating too few carbs because you have too much protein, it's like maybe not the greatest idea in the world. It's kind of like, um, you know, if you have like uh, potentially you know, two guns to shoot zombies with and a bunch of bullets for each gun, but you decide to just have one gun and pack way more bullets, and at some point, you kind of wish you'd have the other gun to shoot zombies this way and that way, as opposed to just one gun and more bullets than you could use, you know? Um, maybe you can throw the bullets at the zombies. I don't know. Maybe you can throw protein at your, at your friends. But that's one big impingement. And another big impingement I can think of is a lot of times, like, um, there's a psychological element to diet consistency, and part of that is kind of enjoyment. Um, this is especially true... Uh, it's true to some extent during fat loss diets, but sometimes we get so hungry it doesn't kind of doesn't matter. We'll eat anything that's presented to us. <laughs> Eating all the food's not a problem. But if you know you're intelligently programming dieting, you're going to have some maintenance phases. You're going to have some maybe muscle gain phases. And if you're eating a ton of protein, it can actually make eating food uh, a very unenjoyable process because there's like a certain amount of protein and carbs and fats that, in a certain ratio, makes your food taste very good and uh, also allows you to eat a lot of regular foods or at least macro friendly versions of regular foods. But if you have to have tons and tons of protein, it pushes the carbs and fats so low that all of a sudden it's just not that fun to just cram chicken breasts down your throat where you could just be doing more pasta and more olive oil and Parmesan cheese, which is way easier to eat. And if you're getting enough protein, after that, eating more of those tasty macros can just make a difference between enjoying your diet a lot and um, sort of viewing it like as a very laborious thing. And there's only so long you can view a diet as laborious until it presents itself as no longer appealing for you to use. And... Uh, you know, that's why there's kind of a downside. And the last one, a tiny little one, it doesn't affect that many people, but um, it affects precisely the people that often try to eat a lot of protein. If you're trying to gain muscle, a lot of times the, the higher the appetite that you can muster, the better, especially when it starts to, your body weight starts to get really outside of its normal range and your appetite tends to shrink. Protein is one of the hardest macronutrients. Uh, it depends on how you slice it. More nuanced version of this conversation, but protein on average is probably the harder macronutrient to eat that is it fills you up the most and if you're eating double the protein that you need gee you know it's just going to be really hard to hit your calories and gain weight uh, i've actually known some people personally who are trying to gain mass and they were doing it with tons and tons of protein and they largely failed to put on a lot of weight because they couldn't eat enough calories and they'll say oh man i'm so full i have no idea how you eat this many calories well you know if i'm allowed to eat a lot of carbs and fats i can pound tons of calories uh, but if you have to eat double protein man you just get full so quick so i think that's one of the reasons why maybe too much protein can be a bad thing, not directly, but indirectly, as you kind of um, implied in your in your question.